Hi, I'm Nancy McAteer, and, and I, go ahead. And I use an Ot light. This is Hi. my best friend. Hi, Maria Nereus. I use an Ot light too. Actually, I have several. What do you use yours for? Well, you know, you introduced me to Ot light so many years ago, and I have my own studio at home, and I'm now designing. And I find that if you don't have an Ot light, you don't know what color you're dealing with. I mean. Yeah. I work at home, I've not got the best lighting, the Ot light gives me the brilliance of the colors that I need to convey to the people that I'm making things for. And you know, when you put your life into making something for somebody, you want to know what color you're dealing with, and an Ot light gives you that every time. So all the time I use my Ot light, I know, in fact, I turn the light on in the room, it's like, no, just use the Ot light. <laughs> yeah, I've tried to mix and match and get sunlight, and it just doesn't no. work, and I miss no. the details. If I don't have the Ot light on, I don't do the details. They ought to make... Color. They had to make paper stores use Ot lights in their stores. I'm there buying a piece of paper, and I step outside, and I don't know what color I've just bought. But I'm outside in the sunlight. Then I get home, I hold it under my Ot light, I know what I've got. You know? Yeah, but I like it for clays. I do a lot yes. of polymer clays, so you know what the yes. true color is. Uh, and fabrics, you can't beat it for fabrics. Well, I like the ones that have the um, they have a, a magnifying glass yeah, on them now. Yeah, we are at which, that age. You know, at that age. <laughs> It we helps. don't like to admit it, but that's <laughs> no, right. It helps. It helps. But we like Ot Light. Yes, we do.